good morning. Beautiful day. And I want to thank you, take a moment just to thank all of you that watch these devotions, that comment on the devotions. And uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, I really get blessed when you talk about you being blessed. And that's what it's being done for. Not for my who I am or anything, but it's to get the Word of God out in any way possible we can do it. That maybe somehow, some way, we can lead someone to the Lord. And I just want to take a moment and say if you want to, you can go to YouTube and look up Woodbury Cottage, W-O-O-D-B-E-R-R-I-E. My devotions are on there. Some of my sermons that I have preached in various churches are on there. And uh, I believe they would be a blessing to you if you go there and just hit the subscribe button and and if you like it, give me a thumbs up. It helps to get the gospel further out around the world. Folks, there's, uh, I think, about six or seven countries right now that this devotion is being watched. And that's all God. And I give him the praise and the glory. I want to look at Romans this morning, chapter 8, verse 5 through 8. Listen to what it says. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is an enemy against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither can it be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Folks, it is impossible to follow the flesh and the spirit at the same time. You can't do it. You're going to go one way or the other. We may claim that we can do both, but we can't. You know, uh, usually when we grew, we all grew up as kids, we had a best friend. We had a lot of friends, but he was our best friend. Well, you can have a lot of friends, but who's your best friend today? Is it the world or is it God? You're going to have one or the other. Paul described two classes, those who live through the flesh, those who live according to the Spirit. And to live after the flesh, Paul said, is to uh, enjoy such things as uh, addictions to pornography or obscenity, a drug addiction, uh, emotional or mental pleasures from this, the movies that they put out today that shows all kind of sins in the flesh. And if you draw in pleasure from that, folks, that is, that is not of God. I can tell you that. And God don't want you watching any of that stuff or being involved in it. If you're not careful, the enemy can get you addicted to it. And it says here, to live after the Spirit is to seek and submit to the Holy Spirit's direction and enablement to concentrate one's attention on the things of God. That's where the children of God should be, need to be, and ought to be, is living in the Spirit, letting the Holy Spirit and asking the Holy Spirit to come into our heart and our life to guide and direct us so we can avoid the things of the flesh. Because, folks, the things of the flesh that I just mentioned will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's in another part of the Bible where it states that those who partake of these pleasures of the flesh will not enter into the kingdom of God. So today, if it's your heart's desire to make heaven your home and not go to hell, you need to understand you need to get away from the things of the flesh, the things of the world. Get God to come into your life. Obey his commandment. Go to God and say, Lord, forgive me. Help me break the addiction. Help me get away from the things that are holding on to me right now of this world. God, Jesus, forgive me of my sins that I may too enjoy the pleasures of the Holy Spirit being inside of us. It is impossible to follow both of them. It is, if anyone fails to resist, to resist by the Holy Spirit his sinful desires and instead lives according to the flesh, he becomes an enemy of God and he can expect to have eternal death. Folks, today, we need to serve God. We need to be careful. Don't let the devil trick us. Don't let the devil get us and take us, take a hold of us and put us out there into the world. Sinner friend, if you're out there, God can help you break that addiction. The Holy Spirit can help you get away from the things that have you bound. Child of God, don't go out there. Don't give in to the desires of the flesh. Paul said he wrestled daily with it. And you and I will wrestle with it and fight it every day that we're alive until we go home to be with God. But God can give us strength to overcome and win those battles. Folks, live after the flesh, you die. Live after the spirit, you live. And you'll have a 
good life while down here on earth. God will bless you and abundantly because the blessings of God come with the stipulations. It's for those who serve him. Lord, today, I thank you that, God, you have been able and have created a way for us to have victory over the flesh. We don't have to live in it. We don't have to put up with it. Through the Holy Spirit coming into our heart and our life, who can convict us when we're going the wrong way, who can lead us and direct us in the right way if we'll listen and follow, you have made a way for us to avoid the things of the flesh and enjoy the things of the Spirit, that one day we can stand before you and spend eternity with you in heaven. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May God richly bless you today is my desire. Thank you.